Okay, I'm going to go over our ventilation system and explain a few things about this board to you. It's not as complicated as it looks. In fact, we're not using all the board right now. It's been a work in progress. We've made a lot of changes to it. So we're going to talk about a few of them here. First of all, the most important part is our fogging system. What we have is we have an air compressor over in the other part of the room. The air hose goes through the ceiling and comes up through here to the solenoid valve. Water line as well comes over here. We have a water filter. It comes up through a separate solenoid. And these two lines are fed into the grow room where they meet up with the misting system and produce our fog for our mushrooms. The solenoids themselves are actually uh, controlled by a humidistat, which I'll be showing you just in a little bit here in the grow room. And this box here really is just a box that I've used to house all of the wires and the junction hoses in there. Uh, before we had the humidistat, we were using this with a cycle timer uh, so that every, say, every seven minutes it would uh, turn on the fogging system for uh, maybe 15, 30 seconds, something like that. We don't use that anymore, uh, but we've left it on the box. The box up here you see here, this is just a another cycle timer for our lighting system in there. The mushrooms like to have about 10 to 12 hours of light each day, so we have this set to turn the lights on early in the morning and to go off in the evening. This right here is just a thermostat so that we can visually see from uh, outside of the room uh, what the temperature is in there. It really doesn't control anything. At one time it did control an air conditioner. Uh, and it could easily be set to control a heater as well, but we're just using it to visually see what the temperature is. Uh, it has a probe here on this wire that is fed into the grow room and that tells us what the temperature is. Now this uh, box right here, we're not using it at the moment, um, but uh, here this winter we probably will start using it again. What it controls is our um, air exchanges. Uh, oyster mushrooms like to have um, several air changes an hour in order to keep the CO2 down to about around 700 parts per million. So in order to do that we need about four air exchanges an hour. The reason we're not doing it right now is with our air conditioner, which I'll show you here in just a few minutes in the grow room, it's not completely airtight, uh, so it does pull in some outside air. And our air, uh, the CO2 level right now is staying at around 700 parts per million, so it's working out real good without this on and saving our electricity. Uh, so again, this is just a cycle timer. Uh, we keep it set to run for about 15 seconds uh, every 15 minutes um, when we are using it. We're no longer using this. This was used to be a little switch, uh, a variable timer, or not a variable timer, but uh, just a variable control for one of our uh, exhaust fans that we had in the room uh, that we used to run uh, constantly. We're not using that any longer as well. We have a, a floor fan down here. It's a squirrel cage type of fan. That's what we're using right now to help, uh, basically for an air return system. The air comes out uh, another vent over here in another part of the room. It's uh, cycled back down through here and back into the grow room. Uh, that way we're creating a constant air flow. And that's another reason why we're not having to use this air exchange up here because this is pulling out some of the room air, the fresh air from this room as well into the system. Now let's move inside the grow room and I'll let you take a look here at uh, the misting nozzles and uh, we'll show you the humidistat and the rest of the system. Okay, what you're looking at right here, this is the humidistat I was talking about earlier. Uh, this constantly monitors the humidity in the grow room whenever it reaches a certain level. It triggers uh, the, humidif the, the fogging system and um, this is how we're controlling that as, as instead of using the cycle timer. Now you can see that uh, it's basically just a cylinder. Uh, it's got some paper elements there that uh, expand and contract as the moisture level changes in this grow room. Okay, what you're looking at there is a shot of our fogging system. It's one of the fogging nozzles. Like I said, there are two of these in the grow room uh, and they're all controlled by the humidistat. We're going to activate this manually just so that you can see uh, exactly what type of fog it does produce.
And that's how it works.